Hello there. Welcome back. This is Brian from 7 and All Makes. Today, I want to look at some goodies that came when I bought my Ender 3 version 2. They provided a bunch of other parts, and one of those parts are these four yellow springs. The four yellow springs go under the plate here, the bed, and help it to level it. And the problem I've been having is if I get these three close enough and level, this corner over here is always a little bit different. If I bring this up, then these are too tight. So I know that the springs that are on the bed right now don't seem to work real well. So a lot of people have suggested the yellow springs, the stiffer springs, to use to bring the bed up and keep it more at the right height. But I have so many questions. Who is Ender? Are we talking about, like, Ender Wiggins from the movie? What does he have to do with it? Where did he come from? And why is it called a bed? I mean, I know what a bed is, and this doesn't seem like a bed. I mean, it seems like this would be a horrible place to try to sleep. I don't think you'd get very good sleep at all trying to sleep on this bed. I think it'd be very, very uncomfortable. I think you would probably toss and turn as you tried to find a comfortable place. It just doesn't seem like it would be comfortable at all to sleep on this. This does not seem like a bed. And it seems like a 3D printer is a very technical device. It's very scientific. It's very sophisticated. It seems like it needs a different name. So, I don't know, should we call this a table? Or what about platform? Uh, those seem like better names. What about, I don't know, surface? Or we could also call it a plate. These seem like more uh, sophisticated names. If we wanna go really technical, let's call it the XY plane because that's what it is, it's the XY plane. We could even um, talk about, like, it's a build plate, uh, or it's heated. So what describes this surface here? It is uh, glass, and it is uh, horizontal. Um, so we could actually, uh, with these, talk about the horizontal surface. Or maybe we talk about the heated table. Um, it is glass. It's the glass heated build platform. Um, it's the glass heated XY plane. Hmm. We could make up a new acronym like the horizontal build plate. H HBP, HBP, horizontal build plate. Would that work? Oh, well maybe, maybe it is BED. So maybe BED is an acronym. B-E-D, what would that stand for? Maybe, maybe this is the build extrusion deck. There we go, okay, this is the build extrusion deck. Now we have a technical term that uh, works for this. Yep. Now when people talk about leveling their bed, their build extrusion deck, I've never seen them get out an actual level and put it on the surface to try to look at where the bubble is. Is the bubble in the center as you would do with a level? You would be looking at is the bubble right in the middle or do you have to raise a corner on one side or the other. So it has more to do with looking at how close the bed is to the bottom of the nozzle and making sure it's equally distant all the way around and it's typically only the width of a paper in between the top of the bed and the bottom of the nozzle. So let's work on changing out the springs for the bed today. All right, as we get ready to change out the springs, there's four springs. The first step will be to remove the clips that are holding the glass plate down to the heated aluminum plate underneath it. 
So if you have two clips, then just take off both of these clips and set them aside. Okay, once you have the clips removed that keep the glass down on the aluminum, then you'll want to remove the bed. Now beds are big and bulky, so get some help so you don't injure yourself. So have somebody assist you with this very heavy bed to be removed off the surface. Okay, after watching a couple other videos on how to do this, uh, we've got our yellow springs. And this is just a tougher, uh, stronger spring. So it will keep the surface in tension better than these springs which are on it, which are quite a bit weaker. And after watching a couple other videos, um, I'm gonna to try to follow the process. First, loosening these up on the front. Uh, so go in pairs, um, uh, so loosening them uh, two by two, these two first here, and then loosening these two, and keep on loosening these wheels until they get all the way loose from the springs that are, from the screws that are on there. have to hold the screw down as this part gets loose. Okay, then lift it up and you'll see the four springs. Here's three of them. And then the fourth one is in the back underneath the little surface there. Be careful of this cable that's attached to it to heat up the bed. But all you have to do is take these springs out and place the yellow spring in its place. Okay, we've got the spring out from the very back by pulling the screw out. Just being really careful because all the wires that attach to the bottom of this plate are back here soldered on and they're heating, they're what heats up this plate. So be careful with that as you take out the springs. So these are the old spring. You can see kind of light duty, pretty small. And then this is the new spring. Quite a bit tougher and yellow. Okay, just drop the screws in through there and then bring the screws into alignment with the springs and set it down in place. Once you have the springs in place under the aluminum plate, it's time to add the glass plate back on top. So carefully take that and align it correctly uh, so that it's uh, aligned on all the edges. And then place your clips back on it so that it's secured uh, between the glass plate and the aluminum plate. Again, as you slide those in, make sure that it doesn't shift the glass plate around, make it sure that it's uh, even on all the edges and then now it's time to manually level your bed or adjust it in height and what you'll do is uh, click on auto home on the display and then disable the step motors and then what I do is just go to the four corners and using a piece of paper adjust the height of the bed uh, up and down with the knobs so that the paper is just a snug in between the end of the nozzle and the top of the glass plate. Uh, you want it so that it's not sliding too freely, but uh, when it's uh, close enough, it will just buckle a little bit. 
And here I'm printing a test print from CHEP, and we'll put a link below for this. This is uh, large squares down to small squares, and just allows you to see how it's printing out and how level the bed is. Well, if you learned something in this video, please give us a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. We appreciate your support. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day and happy modding on your 3D printer. Thank you.